Beverly Kwatara moved to South Africa from Zimbabwe more than a decade ago. Her visa allows her to live and work here. That special permit expires in June next year. She fears being deported to Zimbabwe, a country with few jobs and record high inflation. She's also worried about her 14-year-old son. In terms of his education, is going to be disturbed because the curriculum is not the same. The language-wise, he can speak Shona, but he can't write a sentence. It's going to be very difficult for him to adjust. South Africa's government is trying to manage an influx of economic migrants. For decades, Africa's most industrialized economy has been a magnet for people seeking better economic opportunities from across the continent and other parts of the world. We know that people are flocking to South Africa for healthcare in particular because it may not be the best in the world, but it's certainly better than, than what they're getting now. So we are just saying that we are not anti anyone, it is, it is not an anti-African agenda, it's not, a, it's not an anti-Asian agenda. It's an agenda of saying, let's prioritize our people. Around a third of South Africans are jobless. It's causing resentment among some locals who see foreigners as competition for scarce jobs and public services. But not everyone agrees with that view. I think the blame there is, is far more reasonably laid at the foot of the, of the government itself for not maintaining, for not investing in that infrastructure. And I think it is a quite a worrying development in our politics that foreign nationals are so easily scapegoated now for, the, um, for, gov for, for, for government's failures. Thousands of people from Zimbabwe and Lesotho are legally working or studying in the country. But with special permits being terminated, foreigners now have to prove they have critical skills needed in South Africa. As the country prepares for the 2024 general elections, the presence of undocumented foreign nationals is a divisive issue. Some analysts here say politicians are using this to gain support from frustrated South Africans, angry at the high cost of living and rising unemployment. It's putting more pressure on the ANC-led government as calls to ensure jobs and business opportunities go to South Africans first, seemingly growing louder. Harumutasa Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.